Hi, I'm Noor Farhood. So the auto injector here draws up a small amount of sample and injects it into the gas chromatic path. The GC separates the components of the mixture based off of differences in boiling point and polarity. We're separating fatty acids in various oils, including regular and rancid oils. These fatty acid methyl esters range from 8 carbon chains to 20 carbon chains. A heating element in the GC raises the temperature above the boiling point of the sample. This is so the components of the sample evaporate into the gas phase while they're in the GC. So the components of the sample, along with the carrier gas, which is hydrogen, move through the polarized column of the GC and reach a detector. Now, for example, if you have a carbon-18-0 fatty acid like stearic acid versus a carbon-18-1 fatty acid like oleic acid, oleic acid will reach, or stearic acid will reach the detector first, even though it has a heavier molecular weight. This is because the double bond in oleic acid attracts it to the polarized column of the GC and retains it longer, so it takes a longer time to reach the detector. Now, if you look here at rancid grapeseed oil, you'll see that stearic acid came out before oleic acid. Hi, I'm Hudson Raffi. So to create our samples, we conducted a base catalyzed transesterification reaction, and uh, that is shown in the figure uh, over there. And uh, on the left, you can see uh, there are original esters, and then it's combined with a methoxide solution, which then proceeds to form an anionic intermediate. And this reaction can shift in either direction, but in an excess of alcohol, it will shift towards the right. So we made sure there was an excess of alcohol, so it would shift in that direction. And when it does that, it forms a methyl ester and a waste uh, methoxide solution. And uh, the methyl esters are what we want to inject into the GC. So to go about doing that, we uh, took approximately 1.5 milliliters of alcohol and combined it with a piece of sodium to create the methoxide solution. And then we added our oil sample to the alcohol, sodium alcohol solution. And then uh, we heated it in a hot water bath for three minutes at approximately 180 degrees Fahrenheit. And after letting it cool in a cold water bath, uh, we added uh, approximately one milliliter of refrigerated water. And then we let uh, the vial sit for uh, a couple of minutes. And as you can see, in the vial picture over there, it separates into two layers, and the top layer is the methyl ester fatty acid layer. So we took that off with the pipette, separating it from the waste layer, and after filtering it a couple of times, it's ready to be injected into the GC.